We're made to, 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 to do research about CEO, but then it is hard for us to look for a uh, good reference book for CEO. Kasi hindi naman siya makikita sa isang book lang. And uh, uh, I think this is a very, it's, it's a big help for I and students, and for nursing students in general, if they will be able to find uh, a book such as this. Um, so moving on to give us an inspirational message, may I call on our Dean, Dean of the Institute of Nursing, Dr. Anna Bell-Romeo. Instead of giving an inspiratory message, I'd like to instead just give a celebratory message because we are celebrating today um, a tree. A tree because by its fruit, a tree will be known. And I look at all of you and I am so happy because you all came from one tree, the tree of Mom EBC. EEDC means everything do competently. And that's what you all have demonstrated. You are a celebration of our tree right here, Ma'am EDC. It is said, I think it was Steve, Stephen Covey who said that man is born for four reasons. The first reason is to live, and that's what we did today. We went to eat, that's the physiologic need. <laughs> so we are living today. <laughs> the second is to uh, love. And uh, her love, embracing us all, have nurtured us. And our love for each other, I think, has nurtured us. And then L, the other one is to learn. And from her example, we are learning today it doesn't matter how young we are, how old we are. If we want to contribute, we can. Okay? But lastly, this is what today means, should mean to all of us. The last L, leaving a legacy. And again, here she is showing us the way. So for those of us who are still up and coming, I'm referring to this table here, okay? And table there. For those who are coming, <laughs> these are up and coming, coming, and for those of us who are, who have gone, <laughs> I don't know who's going to be included in that. <laughs> because, Every time I'm introduced today, these days, it's always outgoing. <laughs> so I'm really outgoing. <laughs> okay, outgoing dean and so on. But anyway, thank you so much, ma'am. Every time I see the students, I haven't been your student personally, but in the classroom of life, you don't really need to be in a classroom. And you've always been there. Every time a student comes to me, uh, and they tell me, you know, Mom EDC was my teacher. I remember one time when I was still involved with the FEU, I, I noticed one student at St. Luke's, that's where I worked before I came to uh, FEU. And I was very impressed with that student. And I said to him, Miko, what school are you from? He said, I'm from FEU. I think he was your batchmate, Miko. And then he said, five, Miko. You know, that guy always had, his hair was not trimmed. It's like he wasn't from FEU, actually. <laughs> his hair was not trimmed. He would always come in. He wasn't like FEU at all. But you could see how smart he was, how caring he was, and all that. And then when I asked him, I said, of all of your teachers in FEU, I didn't know Ma'am EDC, of all of your teachers in FEU, who was the one who made the most impact, impact on you? And he mentioned your name, ma'am. And I remember when I first came to FEU, I did call you and I said, ma'am, I have to tell you this. Very excitedly, one of your students said to me, of all of the teachers he's had at FEU, you were the one who has touched him the most and inspired him the most. So when I told ma'am that, he says, oh, I don't remember him, but say thank you. <laughs> 
teachers actually, you don't know what, what the impact is of your words and your actions. And this is why I love to teach. And I guess that's why Mom EDC likes to teach. Because your influence never ends. Even when you're dead, even when you're gone, those seeds are planted and those seeds propagate. So thank you so much, Mom, for, for, for being with us today, for showing the way, for being a light, for, for, for being, you know, for like hacking, hacking a path for each one of us. I am very glad to be here today. I requested Joyce, I and mean, even if I were not invited, but I am, I assure you all, <laughs> I would still come. So let us please give a warm Competently and with a lot of care. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dingoromeo. I agree with Dingoromeo with in every word that she said. Now, if I were to recount my student dates in FEU, uh, my goodness gracious, Mom EDC had been our faculty for almost every nursing subject, CH and C, or uh, name it. She's an LPST and research name it. She's been our teacher. <laughs> and uh, with, if I I would proudly say that I am what I am today. Wow. Partly because of Mom EDC. Mom EDC is the type of teacher who pushes you to become the best of who you are. Okay? If you will notice, I'm sure the uh, the students here who have been with Mom EDC, no? She never really does a lot of lecturing in the classroom. It's you who will speak in class, okay? And she will always mention to us it, in one time, this is just a little hug. It's just a cuento, side cuento. During I was the president of my class, and I always get apprehensive if it's Mom EDC is our teacher and nobody recites. When she asks questions, I, I am forced to recite. Even if I have nothing really substantial to say. Otherwise, Mom EDC, EDC will say, Okay, nobody likes to recite. You sit there, I sit here, and let us look at the other. Okay? So, para hindi siya magalit, Sige, magre-recite na Oh, I don't want to go back to the out. So I, I think that the uh, way Mom EDC handles the class made us what we are. I mean, me, my classmates, and the previous grad and the graduates of FUIM are today. And now that I am a faculty of IN, I always tell my students, you are not really a 100% IN student if you have never been with Mom EDC. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, to, introdu to introduce our author, may I call on uh, Professor Joyce Lee Filipe. Okay. 